amazing crowd. I am so excited. You guys look great. You look awesome. Um, so good evening. My name is Tina Takamoto, Associate Professor of Visual and Critical Studies here at California College of the Arts, and I'm also currently the board president of the Queer Cultural Center. Tonight's program is presented by QCCA, which is an acronym for Queer Conversation on Culture and the Arts, which began as a collaboration between the Queer Cultural Center, which often goes by QCC, and then CCA, hence we came up with QCCA. <laughs> Super clever, I know. Um, but then over the last couple years, we've had the great pleasure of expanding our programming um, to include collaborations with UC Berkeley and the San Francisco Art Institute. And we often um, hold these talks here, but also at spaces like the Brava, the GLBT History Museum, so at a lot of different locations. So look out for us. Um, I'd like to thank our sponsors for tonight's event, the Queer Cultural Center, CCA's Graduate Program in Visual and Critical Studies, the Office of the Provost, with special thanks to Provost Tammy Ray Carland, um, Professor Terza Latimer, Mike Rothfeld, Sienna Freeman, and QCC's Rudy Lemke for um, publicity, for videotaping, and for making the beautiful image poster that we see here. Um, and also if you're interested in other um, programs um, or other kind of queer things going on in the San Francisco Bay Area, I encourage you to sign up for our mailing list. So one of the many sheets that you can sign up for over there <laughs> is a mailing list one. So look at the, at the header and it'll say Queer Cultural Center mailing list. And you'll get um, a monthly uh, email that's about our own programming as well as amazing um, events happening both in San Francisco and in the East Bay. Um, so check that out. So now it is my extreme pleasure to introduce this evening's distinguished guest, art critic, AIDS activist, and queer theorist, Douglas Cripp. In 1977, Douglas Cripp curated the influential exhibition, Pictures, at Artist Space, which led to his elaboration on the postmodern strategies of what became known as the Pictures Generation. In 1987, Douglas Crimp edited a special issue of October entitled AIDS, Cultural Analysis, Cultural Activism. He is author of numerous books, including On the Museum's Ruins, AIDS Demographics with Adam Ralston, Melancholia and Moralism, Essays on AIDS and Queer Politics, and Our Kind of Movie, The Films of Andy Warhol. Douglas Crimp is also Fanny Knapp Allen Professor of Art History at University of Rochester, where I had the great pleasure of working with him as my graduate advisor. In his writing and his teaching, Douglas Crimp continues to demonstrate how visual and cultural studies matter as a mode of critical, embodied, and political engagement with the world. Some of my fondest memories um, from graduate school include um, going to films with Douglas at the George Eastman House, thrift shopping for mid-century modern stuff before eBay took over. Um, we also had a, a group swing dance lesson <laughs> club that was taught by one of our fellow graduate, or one of my fellow graduate students who was a specialist in swing dancing and also, on rare occasion, enjoying some of his homemade apple pies. Um, his new book, Before Pictures, offers a cultural history of art, dance, and gay culture in New York in the late 1960s and 70s, rich with pictures and super juicy autobiographical details. I really recommend you buy this book. <laughs> it's awesome what you can learn about specific artists that you never knew. You just never knew. Um, tonight, Douglas will read selections from his chapter, Action Around the Edges, focusing on the work of Peter Hujar, Gordon Mattaclark, Alvin Baltrop, and Joan Jonas, 
as well as the confluence of art and gay cruising around the piers of New York City. His reading will be followed. Um, we're actually going to show a couple of clips from videos from our um, CCA Libraries collection. And then um, he and I will be on stage for a short conversation followed by a Q&A with all of you. So please join me in welcoming Douglas Graham.